Today on the Minecraft Military Force, we're going to be building trenches. Now, trench warfare, this has been used since World War I, World War II, and the present-day Russo-Ukrainian War by both sides, the Russians and the Ukrainians. And it's incredible, we're still using this over 100-year-old technology. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to build this trench system, and this is based on the one in Ukraine. So basically, a trench is just a hole in the ground, but you're protected from enemy fire, so there's like walls of dirt on the sides. And also the dirt that you dig out, you can also use that as the wall. So this is even more protection on the sides. And I also added in some planks just to hold up the walls of the dirt from collapsing. And I also use it as a slab for the dirt pile. So it's not just like a regular Minecraft block. It just sticks out like this. We need to make it smoother. So I have this entrance over here. So you can just like climb it in. And then we have this gradual slope. It goes down that you're in the trenches. Now you can have different heights of this. So this is like two blocks down. While the one over here you can add in slab if you want a little bit higher. Or if you want it really short, I guess you can have it like this. On the sides of the trenches, you can just climb out, you know, fire. If you look at our spyglass, you can see like a destroyer T-72, some Ukrainian Humvees approaching the position. Got the K-52 Black Shark and some Russian vehicles over there. So definitely, um, it could be good for, I guess, roleplay. Maybe you have like a cool PvP map. So if we go further down the trench, we got this sign, got an arrow. And if we go over here, this is actually going to be where uh, the sleeping quarters are. And you can have like bunk beds so you can fit as many troops in this compact position. Uh, we got this, I don't know, it could be some ammo, grenades or something. And we got some chests so you can uh, put in stuff in here like ammunition, supplies, stuff like that. And here's like another chest on the other side. Yeah, all the beds. And I also added in some banners just to have like, you know, tarps and clothes hanging to dry. I don't know what they do. And for the shape of the trenches, you can either have like a straightish line with a little curve in it. Or you can do the zigzag. And this is what the Russians have been doing. You know, so like you can't just fire down the trench and kill everyone. There's going to be like walls, like blast walls in between each area. So you can just make the zigzag. It's actually not that hard to make in Minecraft. I'll show you it later, but here's what it looks like. First person view of it. And if you want to climb on the sides, you can go right here. They got a T64 BV down there. And I also decorate it so it's more detailed. And you notice the surrounding land, you know, I just made it like dirt, coarse dirt, podzil, and grass. And I also added wheat and grass. Also the position around the trenches, you know, I chopped down more of the vegetation so it's more like dirt around it. Uh, so this area is very plain while this area is very heavily vegetated. I also added in some dead bushes because you know the plants will die around this area. It's just being under fire for so long. And another thing I've added is <laughs> this random, I don't know, campfire. I don't know if they actually do this or not but that was a cool little detail. Have the campfire here. And and during trench warfare, there's often motor and artillery fire. It's under constant bombardment. So I added a bunch of craters here in the ground. You can make your battlefield really come alive. So there is a ton of holes. And if you look at real pictures and videos of Ukraine, this is actually what it looks like. It's just Swiss cheese, just holes everywhere, constant artillery. And you can even bomb the trench line if you want to. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this trench design system. I know people have been asking for a trench tutorial for a long time. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my own trench line from scratch. Let's build it adjacent to this area. So let's build it over here, just defending this little Ukrainian village. So basically, basically we're going to dig out a little hole section. And uh, we're going to make it two blocks down here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go randomly. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can make it a little zigzag pattern. And I'll show you how to make this zigzag as well. So here is our basic trench. Now you're like, wow, that's so amazing, right? And then the next step, we want to destroy the vegetation around it to make it all clear. Now what we have to do is build up dirt piles around it. Now you could make this very, you can use coarse dirt or podzil. Um, I should make it a little. And try to make it like natural looking. So in real life, there might be some variations in the dirt. Who knows, or maybe it's perfect, who knows. After that, we're gonna add in spruce slabs, and this is just to add it so it's like smoother. It's not gonna be a random cubic design. We're gonna make it smooth and try to protect the trench line. And if there's gaps, you know, you could try to fill it in. If you wanna build a specific trench, like from a picture, 
yeah, I'd definitely go look at pictures, all right? So I'm gonna build um, some slabs on the back sides of it because you want it on both sides as well. All right, once you added that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in spruce trap doors just to make the dirt pile a little more radiant and a little adlet on top as well, little variations. All right, so it's actually coming together quite nicely. Another thing you can do, you can add in spruce planks on the inside, like uh, if, what if you want to build up the fortification, make it look more man-made, and also for some variation, you can add in this. You can also make it like going all the way to the top if you wanted to, but that is really up to you. You know, oftentimes these things, it's not really standardized, so you can guys can have a custom design, it'll, maybe it'll make sense. It's, there's not one way to do it. There's a lot of different trenches. I do need to kill more of this vegetation around it, so I'm just gonna use like a little bit of world edit, masking out this area. So you wanna destroy all the vegetation around it. And once you do that, we wanna add in dead bushes, cause you know, artillery fire, they kill the plants, or you know, the dirt kills the plants. The plants just die, all right? So just add in some dead bushes around it. Try to make it look natural, if that makes sense. <laughs> all right, add in like spruce fence. Pretend that's like a dead tree or whatever. Well, spruce fence, scatter that around a little bit. Spruce button for some detailing, little random chunks. Add in like another color to this, just so it's not one color. It's like a little variation, so I'm adding dark oak slabs to this, just so it's not all mundane. And you can also add in slabs on top if you want to make the mounds of dirt like a little taller. So now I'm going to teach you how to make the zigzag trench. Now it's actually pretty easy. You just make a zigzag. So let's go over here, extend this a little bit. Now let's go on a zigzag pattern going this way. And so far I have this. Let's go a little bit further. Just punch out all this area. So once we have this nice zigzag, we want to zigzag the other direction. It doesn't have to be super perfect or anything. Just got to get a nice estimate. In real life, it might not be perfect as well. So try to get it so it's parallel to the other end of it where we started. So like that. So once you have that, you could just zigzag the other direction. And then you would just keep on doing this, making zigzag patterns, add in the walls, like spruce planks here at the bottom. And of course you would like delete all the vegetation around it yet again. And then you would just uh, build up these uh, dirt piles once again. And we're just trying to follow the path generally. And I've looked at some pictures in like World War II era trenches and I don't think they really have these like gigantic dirt piles. Maybe they do, but like the ones I've seen, they're not really. This is like a Russo-Ukrainian war thing. They have these giant piles of dirt. Then they have the infantry and then there's often a lot of like videos of FPV drones they are flying overhead and they always bomb these trenches. The trenches is not like the best place to be but it is still a necessary part. Oh my god there's so much like grass over here and you get rid of it. But yeah you can go like pretty fast with this you know I'm just placing real quickly. It does protect from I guess machine gun fire and then the other side just adding in some more all right so i've added extension to this trench line and if you want to continue the zigzag just keep on doing that now i want to build an extension now you can customize this however you want to make your own pathways you know you have a lot of freedom in this so i'm just going to build an extension going towards the back i'm going to make it like a little angle a bit it's not perfectly straight and I don't know how far I'm gonna go with this. But yeah, let's build it right here. So basically I wanna make like a little shelter for like the troops to hang out in. And you know, I don't know if they use like dirt on the floors or not. We'll add in dirt like that. But like sometimes they'll just have these random um, trench positions where it's like a hole in the ground and you can just build up this area. I don't know, <laughs> but like that. And these things are all custom designs, so you can really personalize this, but you now I'm just making a little compact area for like the troops to like take shelter in. Maybe they dig it out. I want to place some beds, so I'm going to place some beds here. Going to make it bunk bed. It's a really simple design. And you want bunk beds. You can't just have one bed by itself. I mean, you need to fit a lot of troops in the area. I'm going to make it room a little bit bigger. Fit in a bed here. 
Got a nice bunk bed and uh, I don't know, you could put details like chests. This is gonna be a really good for like an actual like survival base in Minecraft, I think. We put in like a chest, I mean a crafting table. Put in some candles for some ammunition. Yeah, you can fill in the chest with like seeds. Put in a little lantern if you guys want some light. Like, I don't know how they would do this exactly, but yeah, this would be a nice little fortification. Oh no, this bed needs both. And also we want to add in some like banners because they have like drapes, you know, just try to make it your own and they're all going to be different anyways. Then to add in some more detail, what you can do is maybe you can add in a flag or something here. We'll just build up some more dirt around this. All right, so it looks like this. We need a way for the troops to get out of the trenches. Like, how are you supposed to get out? So maybe you can add in an area where it's like a spruce, you know, slab. Just go it's like that little staircase area just to get out of the trench. Then, you know, fight the enemy. But yeah, that is pretty much it on how to make Russo-Ukrainian war trench in Minecraft. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.